This puzzle is white to move and win in 18 moves. Checkmate in 18. Even Stockfish has trouble solving this for a long time if you plug it in. So pause the video if you want to find it yourself. I'm about to give you some hints and dive right in, all right? Ready? All right, here we go. So white has a queen versus the king here, but black has a bunch of material and its pawns are about to make a queen as well. So here's the first hint. We had to try to checkmate this king because it's kind of alone right now. Now, how on earth do you solve these puzzles? The way to solve them here would be to find out a goal, which is checkmate the king, and then make a list of options that are forcing. So checks or threatening mate and see you know which options work, which ones don't work and try to find good defenses for black and keep kind of searching and searching ones that have potential to be right, that keep going. So in this position, there are three options for white. Check, check, and king up the board, which would kind of threaten a checkmate. So I'll tell you which ones don't work. King a6 is an interesting try, trying to back rank checkmate. Now, when you try to analyze the position, you got to try to find the best move for the opponent. So in this position, black can play knight e7, clearing the rook, stopping this move. And then if white tries to checkmate on b7 with queen b5, black goes rook b8, and now our attack has run out of steam. So the king a6 doesn't work. So when you're trying to solve these puzzles, ask yourself what you want to do and what the opponent wants to do, which usually is to try to stop you from what you want to do. So king a doesn't work. What about queen e8? That makes a lot of sense, checking the king. However, the king can just move up here. And now we don't have any good follow-up. Not having good follow-up is probably a sign that the answer is wrong, and we should go back to the earlier position to see if something else could have been done. Okay, what about queen c6 check? This one seems to limit black's options, which is a good sign that the move might be correct. So black can play king a7 or king b8. In the previous one, he could have played king a7. In this one, he cannot play king a7 because of queen c7 check. And then king a6 threatening checkmate. And once again, if we split this into four quadrants, in this quadrant, there's like nothing protecting the king. So. Whatever happens in the other quarter, it doesn't matter. We still mate. So queen c6, it seems like it's a good sign if black only has one move to keep the game going. All right. Now, we don't have any good checks. So what's the move that threatens checkmate? King a6. Makes sense. So we had to find a good move for black here, which probably we could run, block, or take. That's common three ways to defend. We have to run. King c8. Checkmate. Puzzle over. Just kidding. Bishop d8, the puzzle keeps going. It's not checkmate. There's a sneaky bishop on h4. However, we are still on the right track because black has only one move. We shouldn't give up just yet. In this position, white can keep checking. He has this check. King goes back and come back and threaten mate again, where black's only move would be king to c8. Did we make progress? Seems like the king is more boxed in than a few moves ago, right? We were here earlier with queen e8 check in this position, but making a, like a, some sort of a triangle, we have successfully boxed in the king. Okay, now that we've done that, black goes king, see it again. And now here we have one idea to mate the king, which is king to a7, threatening checkmate on e6. And if bishop moves away somewhere, we can go back to checking and then mate. But this solution is only eight moves long. What's going on? It's supposed to be made in 18 moves, right? So there must be a better defense for black. The best defense for black, instead of playing bishop to h4 here, 
is to play knight f4. And now white's attack has run out of steam, and black will just win by playing chess. Does that mean the whole line is wrong? No. Somewhere earlier, we could have deviated. Let me go back to the start again. So queen c6, king b8, king a6, it's two moves so far, three, four. So four moves we've got to correct. If you want to solve it now, feel free to pause the video. White has an unbelievable sequence that wins the game. This is why Stockfish had a, such a hard time finding this one. We have to go downstairs and then we have to go upstairs through what we call forcing moves, which are moves that are checks or threatening checkmate. These type of moves are so strong, your opponent has to walk a very narrow path that you tell them to. That's why they don't have any other options. We can control the series of events for 18 moves. So the move that we could do here is queen takes d5, taking a pawn, threatening mate. If black plays c6, we still simply take and we can't, um, we'll get a mate here, black can't stop it. So black goes king c8, the same prescription as before. Well, we can check again, making black repeat the same move, but we're making progress, why? We have another capture, queen takes e4, threatening mate again, king c8, check on g4 this time, king b8, and take the pawn. We're making progress by using checks and threatening mate. King c8, queen g4 back, why? Because the king has to be on b8 so that when we take something, we threaten a mate, which doesn't let them play what they want. Queen takes knight, threatening mate again. So black is a servant to our demands here. King c8, now, can we come back upstairs? Since we just went downstairs through checks and threatening mate, the answer is yes. We can go upstairs through the same way that we came down. How do we come down? We came down like this, right? So the same way we can come up using similar checks. So check on g4, queen e4, always threaten mate only when the king's here. King c8, queen e6 check, king b8, queen c6, and king c8. So this is 15 moves deep so far. And compare this position to move four. <laughs> if we'd play queen c6, this wouldn't have worked because of king c8, king a7, knight f4, right? But now, in this position, the difference is we've cleaned black's clock here. <laughs> we cleaned the whole kingside and it's still our turn so the move that didn't work earlier king a7 works now because there is no knight to stop queen e6 mate if black plays bishop somewhere we can check and then mate if black queens in this position we can check he blocks and then made over here. So no matter what black does in this position, it will be a checkmate. Is your mind blown? Let's start over again. Queen c6, king a6, check, and staircase down. Check, threaten, mate, check, threaten, mate, check, threaten, mate, and then come back upstairs. Woo! And then finally, Threaten mate like this.